the coronavirus. It's the worst global pandemic since baby shark. <laughs> there are now over 80,000 confirmed cases in 40 countries, including 57 confirmed cases right here in the United States, <coughs> 58. And so, <laughs> today, the President of the United States held an emergency press conference to address people's concerns. I have just received another briefing from a great group of talented people. We're ready to adapt and we're ready to do whatever we have to as the disease spreads, if it spreads. The level that we've had in our country is very low and those people are getting better. We're very, very ready for this. I'm gonna be putting our Vice President, Mike Pence, in charge. I'm gonna ask Mike Pence to say a few words, please. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mr. President. Yes, this is major news. Vice President Mike Pence will be in charge of America's effort to contain the coronavirus. And I think this is great. Yeah, because Mike Pence has a lot of experience in this area. He's been quarantining himself from women his whole life. <laughs> this is great. And some might be worried. Some might be worried because when Mike Pence was governor of Indiana, he enabled an HIV outbreak when he didn't follow the advice of public health officials. But I'll be honest, I still feel safer with him than with Trump. Right? Because Trump, first of all, if you saw the briefing, didn't seem to know anything that we didn't. It's like he just gets his news online with us. Just like, I, I saw a thing, it looks bad, it's very, pretty bad. <laughs> it's like some people have it, a lot of people have it, you might have it, I don't, I, I, I don't even know if I have it. And earlier, earlier this week, earlier this week, when Trump was briefed on the virus, he seemed less concerned about a pandemic hurting people than he was about it hurting the economy. Because that's Trump's real nightmare, right? If his stock market gets sick, yeah, he would be like, no, not my poor stock market. <laughs> not Wall Street. I'll nurse you back to health with my special chicken soup. <laughs> it's a KFC bucket poured with Diet Coke. <laughs> it's delicious. Don't judge. <laughs> Don't judge. The Diet Coke undoes the KFC. <laughs> and also, also, when Trump first talked about the coronavirus earlier this week, I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't exactly reassuring. The uh, coronavirus, which is... Um, you know, very well under control in our country. We uh, have very few people with it. The people are getting better. They're all getting better. And I think that whole situation will start working out. A lot of talent, a lot of brain power is being put behind it. Two and a half billion dollars we're putting in. There's a very good chance you're not gonna die. <laughs> okay, we're, we're definitely all gonna die. You know, Trump, Trump is great for jokes, but in times of crisis, Trump is the worst person to reassure the nation. <laughs> because a president is like a parent. They're supposed to make people feel like they have things under control. Trump is like, yeah, maybe you never... Like, he's the kind of parent who would freak their kid out even more. Be like, Daddy, there are monsters under my bed? Are they, are they there? Be like, I don't know, kid, probably not. But, uh, <laughs> nobody knows for sure. Nobody knows. I mean, you could have swallowed a tiny monster and it's growing in your tummy right now. <laughs> nobody knows. All right, good night, buddy. So the question is, what is the latest news from the coronavirus and how is it affecting the world? Well, let's find out in our brand new segment, Is This How We Die? <laughs> Today's catastrophic threat to humanity is the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19 or Kofifi. <laughs> Trump tried to warn us, but we laughed. Now. Scientists are still learning about this virus because it's so new. What we do know, though, is that it's extremely contagious and that it looks different depending on which news channel you're watching. Yeah, on NBC, it looks like fish eggs. On ABC, it looks like Nickelodeon slime. Uh, on CBS, it looks like radioactive cauliflower. And on Fox News, they just made it look like Hillary Clinton. Lock it up! Lock it up! And now, while America is bracing for the worst, other countries around the world are in the thick of it. So let's go over to Japan, where the coronavirus isn't just getting people sick, it's also going for the gold. The 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo might be canceled because of the outbreak. A senior member of the International Olympics Committee told the Associated Press, you're probably looking at a cancellation if the coronavirus outbreak 
isn't curtailed by May. You're talking about hundreds of thousands of people coming from 200 plus countries, all staying in close quarters here in Tokyo for a few weeks and then going back out to their home countries. If they don't get this thing under control, the potential for a major public health crisis and outbreak is huge. Yes, the Olympics might be canceled because of the coronavirus. And personally, I'm devastated because I was gonna compete in the shot puts. <laughs> Yeah, no, for real. One of those big guys was gonna throw me. <laughs> now, <laughs> canceling the Olympics is a pretty big deal. In fact, the event has only ever been canceled for world wars and its old tweets, but it makes sense. <laughs> Hosting a worldwide competition during a pandemic is a recipe for disaster, right? And it's bound to affect the quality of the sports. I mean, you can't have that when there's diseases going on. I mean, can you imagine the relays? They're gonna have the slowest times ever. No one's gonna want to touch the same baton. Just be like, ew, 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 ew. And good luck breaking records in the pool when you're dressed like this. So, <laughs> the virus is potentially a World War level threat. And you might be thinking with this level of danger, we should be turning to God. But as we're learning from the Philippines, God may not be able to help. Millions of Christians around the world are observing Ash Wednesday today. It marks the start of Lent, a season of fasting and prayer all leading up to Easter. This year, out of precaution for the coronavirus, some churches are sprinkling ashes on the heads of churchgoers instead of smudging it on their foreheads. Yes, as unbelievable as it sounds, because of the coronavirus, many Catholic priests are just sprinkling ashes on their parishioners like a religious salt bay. <laughs> And that's how you know the coronavirus is serious. Because even the church is afraid. Like if coronavirus was around in the Bible, Jesus would have been like, I will lay hands on this leper and I will raise the dead. And for the, oh, coronavirus, no, 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 no. I'll, let me turn this water into Purell. I ain't touching that shit. <laughs> so Japan and the Philippines are taking major precautions. But all the way over in Iran, things are already getting out of control. Iran has suffered the highest number of coronavirus deaths outside of China, with 15 dead and 95 cases reported. On Monday, the country's deputy health minister went on TV, insisting the Iranian government had the coronavirus under control. But the very next day, it was announced that he himself had contracted the virus. Are you shitting me? The health minister? came out saying everything is fine, but then he's got the disease? So not only is this virus super contagious, it also has a sick sense of humor. <laughs> and it's bad enough, it's bad enough that the health minister, the deputy health minister is sick, but it's even worse that in the days before he was diagnosed, he was going on TV and spreading it around. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's safe to say that that guy's career is over because, <laughs> let's be honest, a health minister that gets sick will never be trusted again. Yeah, it's just like, everybody needs to wash their hands. People are like, man, why would we listen to you, you sick-ass bitch? <laughs> so that's where we are now. The coronavirus, which started in Asia, has now spread from Europe to the US, the Middle East, and all the way, as of today, to South America. So remember, people, wash your hands, try not to touch your face, cover your cough and stay away from that Iranian health official. <laughs> and if you do all of those things, there's a good chance you're probably not gonna die. <laughs>